say something. October 29th. Ooh, piece of candy. What are you doing? I'm trick-or-treating, of course. What are you even supposed to be? A Christmas tree, duh. No, I'm supposed to be a construction worker. But it's not even Halloween yet. Anyways, today we interviewed Ms. Hammond. Now let's take a look. Hi, Ms. Hammonds. I'm Lilia with Radio Vision. And I'm here to ask you about this library makeover I heard about. Is it true? Yes, it is. So what is going to be happening? What kind of stuff are you going to get in here? Well, they're going to give us quite a bit of money, about $700,000 to completely renovate our library. And how long do you think it's going to take? It's going to take about a year. Now, that includes a lot of planning. Some architects are working up some preliminary plans right now. But as they're planning, and I want to make sure I say this so that students are hearing it and they can tell their teachers and parents, there's going to be a survey um, look on the McGavick website. I want to make sure all students have some feedback in this planning process. Let us know what you would like the new library to look like. Of course, we're going to make sure that it doesn't look like it belongs in the 90s. We're in the 21st century, and what we're getting is a 21st century library. But we want to know what you guys think about what that should look like. And we want to know what the teachers think, and we want to know what parents think about what their library should look like for their students. And where are all the books going to go? They're going to pack them up and take them to the National Public Library, who's going to help us pack. And now that we know what's going on with the library, Chef Dan's students gave a little sweet message to get them by. Chef, this is Alan, just checking in with you, just letting you know we miss you. I really hope that you can keep in contact with some of us until you're ready to come back, and we do miss you greatly. And I hope you see the sign. We're all here thinking about you, Chef, so please, call my phone. I miss you, Chef Dan, really well. So, um, I love you. I love you so much. I like having you. And I love you, and that's why we want you to come back. Be strong, and I'd like to help you cook with some, something with you. I miss you so much. Love you. Hey, Chef. Uh, it's Alyssa, and, you know, it's your favorite student here. <laughs> no, just like, we all miss you terribly. It's different not having you here. We miss you. We hope you get better soon. Just come back whenever. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> we miss and love you, Chef Dan! Our right, student council is having a t-shirt clean stuff for $3 all next week. Come buy your shirts.